first uh, a brief introduction. My name is Sipke Schorstra. I am the creator of ELSA, and I prepared a little uh, agenda for today's session, um, starting with introductions, taken care of, check. So let me briefly, for those who are unfamiliar with ELSA, uh, explain what it is uh, about. We'll do that first, and then uh, I'll show two uh, demos. And then if there's time, uh, it will be great to have some uh, questions and discussions. So uh, with that, let's get into it. Uh, well, actually, uh, a little bit more details about myself. I'm a software engineer. I am based in the Netherlands. Um, and I, as I mentioned, uh, I created ELSA workflows. It was 2018, I think, when I pushed the first commit. And what is ELSA? It's essentially, it's an open source framework for building workflow engines in .NET. So what does that mean? Um, you can create a new ASP.NET Core project file and then turn that into a workflow engine. That's a very common use case. Or maybe you have an existing application built in .NET and you want to imbue it with uh, workflow capabilities and ELSA would be perfect for that. And uh, it's a modular extensible framework. Uh, if you're an Advent ABP user, you know all about modules and extensibility, which is great. Uh, and it comes with a, a reusable web-based visual designer. So it would also, you can define workflows from JSON, even in C-sharp, uh, as C-sharp classes uh, within your application, but it also comes with a web-based de designer, which is reusable. And by that, I mean, you can host it into your own application, which we'll see also in a, a few minutes. 